How to use Razer Kishi with GeForce Now, Android Central. The Razer Kishi lets you stream games on your mobile devices with a comfortable gamepad instead of a touchscreen. But if you buy one, you're not going to want to rebuy games you already own to stream them, Stadia, or wait weeks for an invite Project X Cloud. GeForce Now is a great starting point for new Kishi buyers, as they can access their Steam, Origin, Epic and Uplay libraries remotely and dive straight into the fun. Here's how to get started. You can sign up for NVIDIA GeForce Now on your Android device. But signing up on your PC or Mac first can make the process of adding games to your NVIDIA account simpler. Then, you can use the Android app and your Kishi controller to dive right into the action. In the mobile app, log into your NVIDIA account. You should see the games you added in the My Library section. NVIDIA has regularly supported Razer's mobile gaming controllers on GeForce Now. Both the Jungle Cat and Raiju Mobile were fully compatible with GeForce Now when they launched. The Kishi, thankfully, is no exception. It is designed to work with GeForce Now with no special Razer app or pairing required. Simply follow the steps below. Pull out the left half of the Kishi so your phone can slot inside of it. A blue light indicator should turn on if you've successfully inserted your phone. Pick a previously selected title in the My Library section and hit play. It will check your network connection to make sure your Wi-Fi can handle the game. Then, if you're a free user, put you in a queue to access their service. Once the game boots, you will need to log into Steam or whichever game launcher you bought them game from before playing. NVIDIA's streaming platform has generated controversy with developers in recent months, with major studios pulling their games from the service. But with new games being added with regularity, GeForce Now has garnered an impressive selection of games, so long as you aren't too attached to particular game franchises. You won't lack for options. What makes Kishi particularly special for GeForce Now is that it is the only non-Bluetooth gamepad available for Android. Bluetooth controllers frequently come with noticeable input lag, while wired controllers reduce latency greatly for more immediate on-screen response. Plus. While these Bluetooth controllers usually have rechargeable batteries that inevitably give out during gaming sessions, the Kishi's pass-through charging system ensures you need only keep your phone charged. Kishi will thrill Android gamers with low-latency access to streamed games from Steam. Epic Games Store. Origin and Uplay. It's comfortable to hold for long sessions. Simple to insert or remove a phone. And compatible with most Android phones on the market. Can't afford an expensive PC gaming rig. Streaming will allow mobile users, Mac users, practically anyone to access high-end gaming titles by letting NVIDIA handle all of the processing power. It has a good selection of games. But some limitations if you stick with the free membership. A paid GeForce Now subscription ensures you never have to wait in a queue to start playing a game. Or stop playing after an hour. Plus. You get access to real-time ray tracing for improved in-game rendering. It's cheap and easy to expand the internal storage of the NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. We've rounded up the best options for adding additional gigabytes to your favorite set-top box. Including standard external hard drives and some USB 3.0 compatible thumb drives. Are you ready to have some fun with your new Samsung Galaxy phone and get some serious gaming done? Before you can. You'll likely want to get an awesome controller to pair up and make the most out of the experience. Text source, androidcentral.com.